So we know already that when we perform movements with one or other hand, it's controlled by the opposite hemisphere of the brain. And what is interesting is that when we learn something with one of our hands, this learning can transfer to the other hand. The general hypothesis is that this information is passing by the corpus callosum. So this is the, the big white matter tract which is connecting the two hemispheres. And we're trying to find, okay, is it the corpus callosum that is in fact passing this information between the, the two arms? So the, the goal of my thesis is to try to explore the neural basis of this learning transfer. So try to find where in the brain we are transferring this information between the, the two arms. We're trying to do this by working with both healthy participants and also patients. And one of the, the main techniques we use is to, to use um, prism adaptation. So this is a technique where you put prismatic goggles on the participant and it's um, with special lenses which deviate the vision. And what we can do with this, we can get the person to adapt to these glasses. So they first perform the reaching movement and they, they miss the target completely. Then over time they will adapt what they're doing with their movement and be able to again put their finger on the target for example. What is interesting is that when you do this with just one hand and you take off the, the glasses so you're under normal visual conditions, in fact when you do a movement with the other hand, the other hand the movement can be deviated as well. Even though it's only one hand which has learnt the adaptation and the perturbation. Là où est qu'on va commencer avec le, le main gauche. Tu peux mettre le, le main gauche sur le, le petit bouton rouge et uh, le plus vite possible vers le, vers le cible. The main result that I found with my, my research in testing these patients with damage to the corpus callosum is that despite their lesions, they can still transfer learning of information between the, the two hands. And this is going against uh, the kind of long-standing models in the, the literature. Now in the next stage of my project, we're trying to see a bit more, more clearer this picture. The, the next stage is to do an imaging project. So we will hopefully get the patients within the, the MRI scanner. When they're performing a learning task, for instance, a visual motor rotation, and try to see which brain areas are activated when they're, they're learning this task and when they, they transfer this, this information. Um, so at the moment I have a collaboration with uh, Techno Concept, a company which is really aimed at patient rehabilitation with different machines and different techniques. For me it's really interesting to link like fundamental research and research of the, the neural basis to the, the patients and try to guide what kind of rehabilitation techniques we can use or what kind of methods we can use to, to, to help the patients. Mm -hmm.